it's definitely been a few days since I've done any uh, videos but I'm back and I wanted to show you where I'm at with the courtyard scene and to be quite honest with you I think I'm calling this done at this point uh, this has been a, a rough one for me just because of the fact that uh, I got sick my family's been sick and I've still done a lot of work on it and as much as I would I would like to do more at some point I've got to uh, I've got to move on because we're just doing this for fun so this is what the courtyard scene looks like and I think I left you at this exhaust this exhaust pipe structure uh, and then I went on and I done the uh, air conditioners and really um, I used the modular approach right just with these pieces and I put them together I textured this all in substance paint we're going to talk about that in a bit and like I said I did the I did the air conditioner and I think that's the original one and the rest of these you can see the empty sort of the, the cross like structure uh, I just you know copied them to multiple places all right so we did that um, I modeled the wooden pallet here and I've done a couple of wooden pallets around there uh, you saw the trash can but again you can see the cross thing there so those are instances and by using the instances uh, anytime I make a change to this one it affects the other one all right so I change the texture or you know any of the geometry it, it reflects in this one and it doesn't increase my polys I've done some cloth effects here there's some cloth over some boxes and there's the the cloth uh, roof like thing here so I've done that and I did some tires and I think the original tire is right there if I move that yeah and then again these are, are instanced uh, around of course you saw me do the dumpster and I put some boxes inside there and uh, you know I did the roof structure I did something here and something there there's nothing special about uh, any of these structures I did a spotlight and I'll talk about a little bit about the lighting here you can see all the, the lighting all around uh, what I decided I really didn't like was this structure here one of the things that I had originally done so I just moved it back there it's not even really visible and then I've got a little fence in between and you know there's nothing else down there um, I also did the cement sort of um, barrier thing and uh, I think that one that one back there was the original and then again you can see these are just instanced around these little boxes here um, you know there's a lot of stuff oh, also that these lamps are instanced all around with uh, with the bulb in them the electrical is copied there was one here and I put another one there and uh, that is about it so uh, the whole scene ends up being around uh, 300 and you can't see that very well 307,000 or so I'm sure there are some extra pieces floating around here that I didn't need uh, yeah so many more things that really I could do on this but I've just decided that it's time to move on so um, let me just show you one thing in the shading tab here if I switch over to world here I added this volume scatter node and plugged it into volume and put the density at 0 0.01 that's going to give me the um, the effect on on the lights that you are going to see and uh, I don't do that all that all that often I'm not really a big fan of doing that but uh, I did it for this scene so uh, this is what it looks like in uh, in blender and um, in the compositing I didn't do much I just added a little bit of color and the glare node and I had a couple of other things at one time and then I decided I didn't like it and so I did a bit of post-processing after the fact so I'm going to show you uh, the renders and uh, hopefully they're going to be uh, good enough for the conclusion of this series apologize for not showing you how I modeled everything and uh, let's just have a look at at them now so here is one of the renders I'm at 70% I can zoom in in a second this is just one vantage point but you can see of course the oil barrel and the wooden plates and the pallets and the electrical and the 
the exhaust thing here and then this section in the, in the, back, in the back wall. Uh, I decided that even though this pattern is repeated on the bricks, I don't know how noticeable it was until I mentioned it, that I actually kind of liked it. It looked like a streaking. So this was textured uh, all in Substance Painter. And the, the way I did this is I used a lot of smart materials that I've uh, accumulated over the past while and I tweaked some of the standard uh, smart materials. I wanted to do it quickly. I think I mentioned that in one of my vlogs and say, you know what, instead of uh, going through videos of building up all the smart materials, let's, you know, or materials in general, let's just see if I can throw something on and tweak it and get a result that's going to suit my scene. And so it was a little bit of experiment, but I think it turned out okay uh, because some of these smart materials, uh, like I say, have been tweaked and some of them um, are smart materials that I, I bought that you wouldn't necessarily just have in Substance Painter and then with some changes to them as well. So there's there's one view and you can see the fog-like effect on the lights due to that volume scatter node, um, which really kind of blurs everything out. And then I post-processed it a little bit. So there's one image. And here's another view where you can see the spotlight shining down on, you know, the gate, I guess, to make sure people don't go in or out. There is a big empty space here that certainly could be filled up with some stuff. Um, vegetation and rocks are notice noticeably absent in, in this, which sort of shows the limitations of my, of my, um, I don't know, abilities or whatever at this point. Um, but there is, there's a hundred percent on that so um yeah the walls the windows the air conditioners the lights the electrical the backlight the cloth the doors the fence the tires the dumpster <laughs> all of that stuff so that is that is that view And there is the last one. And in this particular one, I didn't have the roof angled up very high. And so you can see the HDRI in the background, which doesn't look that bad, but that's an awfully large tree. So just ignore that. And you can see uh, here we got the spotlight coming down and shining on this area and the spotlight on that area. And that is it for the courtyard scene. This is a... Um, close to what I had hoped, I'm just going to cut, I'm cutting off that, uh, what I had hoped to accomplish uh, in my, um, in my series. There are, like I say, a lot of things that I would have liked to still have done. Um, like I said before, things like vegetation and, and rubble and stuff is, is missing. And uh, all of that takes, can take a lot of time unless you have a real nice um, asset library and you just populate it with stuff which is probably what uh, what you would do if you were uh, really making a, a game environment the other thing that would have been nice here and i'm pointing out the faults here are things like signs all right you know and things crooked and broken and some graffiti and some more wear and tear some smudges and some blood stains or dirt stains all of these things um and I thought of doing all that, and I thought of uh, putting you off and putting you off. And then I said, you know what, I'm going to wrap it up with what I've got because I've achieved, you know, maybe 80 or 85% of what I wanted to do. And uh, I want to move on and not leave you hanging. I want to get back because I, I noticed, you know, more and more people have been subscribing to the channel and coming by to view things, and I don't want to take forever on any one thing although uh, I did take a long time on this series and I have on other series like the subway scene and stuff and so I, I will uh, do longer series but uh, I want to show you more I don't like jumping just from this to there it's done uh, but I did that in this particular case because I was kind of sick so like I say the textures uh, are the main thing after I guess it was actually the dumpster that I did last after this um, you know, and I didn't show you any of that, but again, not everybody has Substance Painter, and, um, you know, the whole process can be quite long, uh, to go from the block out, which I started with, all the way to, to texturing. It, it, it took many, many hours, and many, uh, iterations, and to, to, 
have you watch me fumble through all of that would be kind of ridiculous. Uh, it'd be better for me to say, okay, I'm going to do a TV or something or an air conditioner and you do all of that. And still, I've done uh, the an air conditioner from The Last of Us and it still took me four or five or six videos to do that. So, uh, And there will be more of that. So this is the end result of the courtyard scene. Thank you very much for persevering uh, through it and thank you for your patience uh, waiting for me while I've been sick. And uh, we're not back to 100% yet, but we're coming back and we got more uh, planned for you. And so I think I'm going to uh, leave this and move on to something else. Um, I really do appreciate you coming by here. I appreciate your subscriptions and your likes. Uh, keeps me motivated, keeps me going, and I'll keep churning out videos if you keep uh, hitting the like button. All right, take care, be well, and we'll talk to you again soon.